From railroad yards to 4th Avenue, it seems no place is safe from graffiti. And the Tucson community has had enough. In my mind, it's insane. There's, there's nothing productive that comes out of it, and they're, they're trashing their own community. Captain David Neary of the Tucson Police Department has a plan to reduce the amount of graffiti in Tucson. Our investigators estimate that about 20 percent of what you see is gang graffiti, and everything outside of that, that 80 percent factor, um, is all from people who are part of uh, what we call tagging crews. People do this to be seen. Um, they consider it a, a voice, an opportunity to be recognized. So to be able to remove that possibility, therefore, begins to remove the motivation. Graffiti is a crime of notoriety. The more dangerous the wall, the more respect for the graffiti taggers. A wall like the one behind me, in the middle of railroad tracks and gated on both sides, is difficult to access, which is probably why it's so covered in graffiti. Professional muralist Joe Padgett has friends who used to graffiti illegally. As far as graffiti goes, the extra thrill you get doing it illegally is that you're always looking over your shoulder and there's almost a competition between graffiti artists of who can get the most you know, predominant wall in the most risky spot and do the best job on it. Just because most graffiti isn't gang related doesn't mean it's not dangerous. They'll sometimes tag over each other's works and then it'll start kind of a back and forth where they're destroying each other's murals around town and it usually ends in fist fights or somebody going to prison for something. And for me, art's kind of like just about expressing yourself and, you know, painting. It's not about beating people up and destroying each other's works.